I am to title this video, What is Zion? All right, there are two things I enjoy more than the circumstantial occurrences that happen in your life. And making sure my life is on a certain promise-filled path directly from me. Release that, release that, release that. Thank you. And always having to be king and always having to live by scripture has made things very um, interesting. But at the same time, now, 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 doing seven things at once and how my mind moves. A question my wife asked me once. Tears of joy and making my wife laugh. Those two things are sensations that are caused by my actions. So that I can look at her and live up to um, who she believed me to be. So I walked into her situation. There's a poster of me on the wall, two of them. I marveled at her revelation and what the Holy Spirit tells her. That's how we work together, babe. And she understood so much and so little at the same time, which is something that would occur given her location. Close the door. <clears throat> per the scripture I just read. Oh, the guy helped with this truck. Let's go see what he wants. Oh. Welcome to my ministry. I named him Chaba Judah. Chaba Judah! Hey, what up with you? Army fatigues and everything. Hmm? Army fatigues and everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, uh, I was shit, I was up, man. I had to keep going. Everything's going good with the truck. You got that thing fixed? What? Wasn't your starter having a problem? Oh, yeah. I ain't got it fixed yet. Um, I think it's. I don't know, I, I got a choice to, um, why don't I got a choice to from the starter, from the cylinder. Well, actually, I need a new mission. I need a new It starts wet right up now, though? Or are you still, we still got a push start it? Yeah, I need a new mission. I need a new Alright, good. So that got fixed. I'll get someone to fix it for you. Oh, I know how to do it. I know how to do that. Just take that out. Just take it out and put the other one in. There's a little more than that. There's somebody you're supposed to talk to and then it'll just wire it up. Just you know, take it out of there. All these cars, most of them are the same company as parts. We have the same one. All right. Well, I'll, different ones. I'll holler at you later. Love you. Not none, not none today, but I'll get some. Yeah, for sure. I give him cans. And uh, <clears throat> my wife blessed me with some funds and I helped him out with some things. So I always put evidence in front of you, beloveds. 
But it's also a time where the Holy Spirit tells me, all right, now walk away. So some things are gonna happen in his life. It's gotten better since we were able to sit down and talk. And he was saying that he was praying and then I met him at a gas station and we sat down and talked in my little bar here. And he knew that what I gave him was from the most high. And then he knows because he's helped me out with some things and he's one of my angels. So I look out for my own and trying to explain real ministry to my wife was uh, problematic in the terms of, well, I have to say this, babe, discernment. So my wife had this big, long list. It was a green piece of paper that said, thank you, Jesus. And then her creative side had this list of all of these prayers. And I would look at them every morning. Which one are we gonna work on today? That's how much I love you, babe. So to teach these things and to answer these prayers, she wanted her story changed, discernment, everything that was stolen from her, she wanted back. And she, as a student, definitely, um, she would always say to me, well, you're from Harvard. Like, we're down here as far as our education. potential and who she is, I just kind of was more prayerfully considering, but this isn't the place or the time, my love. Like, this is not good. If I'm saying it's not good, then it, and I'm able to withstand a lot, this is, imagine what it's doing to you, babe. So going through the suffering for years and years and years, I had to make a lot of choices across um, the earth of who I was actually gonna wake up because so many were in situations where if I woke you up, you would have been in so much spiritual pain. So you also gotta remember, this is the woman in the wilderness sustained by my spirit. That's how special she is. And to accept who you are, like I had to accept who I am, I took the steps. So she needed the steps tied to memories, tied to testimonies with witnesses. And all of this took a long time so that she could always reflect and say that really happened a testament to who she is, the queen. And all of this decided before the earth was formed. And I would make a video, especially for her every year to make her laugh and let her know, I haven't forgotten you. <laughs> Superman is coming. Your prayers have not fallen on deaf ears. But an introduction has to be made first. So about seven years of videos first, get to know me. This is how I do things. This is why. So to understand me and be in my life, you have to first accept that what I'm telling you is the truth. The reason for that is it saves so much pain and heartache if you just accept what I'm telling you. So first I have to prove myself. So 
I wanted to give her the full Jesus experience. And in that situation, she was getting Jesus at war. She was getting Jesus in hell. She was getting Jesus not happy, but she wasn't getting the side of me that she remembered so much. The loving father, the tender-hearted me. I'm a hopeless romantic at heart. I love one thing above all, crucified, no doubt. Trampled on, laid beneath the stone, many, many times, beloved, many, many times. Uh, one year for every lash is what I've lived in this lifetime of suffering, the suffering Messiah part that fulfills prophecy. So I understood the purpose of her suffering and I wanted to alleviate it and replace it. And a long time ago, she was corresponding with me before the timing was perfect because I also wanted her to meet Peter, all of that and Sarah and 75% of our issues came from Sarah and I'm over it now, but <clears throat> because Sarah is connected to Peter, I'm connected to Peter, Mary's connected to me, it bounced around and I'm not blaming anybody, but I sat prayerfully and have enough evidence to understand exactly what was happening when we're that connected. Me and my apostles were that connected. We moved as one. So teaching her that, that every action has an impact on us when we come together is how we used to work. So reminding her of who she is. But she had sent me an email. She said, I wanna get a tattoo. but I don't know what it should be. And I prayed on it, the Holy Spirit said, he turned my morning into dancing. We knew there was gonna be a very, very hard situation she was gonna go through because we were going to um, have to judge something. And I wanted to be there for her so bad while she was going through it. And I tried with all my heart to do it. <clears throat> it was probably the most hurtful for her and me <clears throat> situation to be in, but it turned out as beautiful as it could, as opposed to how it would have turned out had I not intervened, my love. I prayed for so long how to handle that. And then when it happened, <clears throat> I dedicated, well, I dedicated every day to her and I still do that. God used it to uh, prove to her, he's supposed to be in your life. He's Jesus and he's your husband. I would lose phones, set up a situation where only God could have got me a phone miraculously to stay in contact with her, went to libraries. We have a whole history, beloveds, that stems from what happened after I came out of the tomb. <clears throat> So keeping her heart postured towards us so that she always had her discernment and she always was able to be her and as happy as she could be when we were in hell. She had asked to be shown hell. I kept telling her we're already there. The uh, 
Holy Spirit says, keep going, keep going, keep going. There's no way to talk about how much I love her, how in love with you I am here. Here, here. And trying to get her used to it whiteboards up, all kinds of things. I'm trying to make hell enjoyable and a marriage inside hell. So praying about it this morning, me and the Holy Spirit. If you wanted to do the impossible, <clears throat> it was not possible to have a marriage in hell. There is no love in hell. All of these things that I was trying to explain to her that we are. But it's hard for me because I see things in the spirit all the time. And this is truth. There's times where I just cannot be reasoned with because it's beyond uh, a time to be reasoned with. Now I can be reasoned with. Now I can go back to my, okay, well, we can try it your way without... Um, because she's out. That's what it means if I sit on the throne, it means she's made me the king of her heart again. And I rejoice. I love you. Perfect.